This is how to revise effectively using retrieval practice. So if you're aiming for the very highest grades, then you need to make sure your memory is working well. You need to be sure that you're retrieving facts fast and accurately. And just like learning any new skill, to do that, you need to practice. Thanks so much to Tassimai for sponsoring this video. Tassimai is a personalized quizzing app, which is based on the science of learning. And as a head of science, that really appeals to me. It really helps students get the top grades. And that's what we're all about here at Gorilla Physics. Check out the links in the description and the pinned comment to find out more about Tassimai. Let's hop into the content of the video. If at any point during this video then you're not sure and you don't believe me and you're wondering where this evidence is from then I'll put some links in the description as well of some things that you should read that will help convince you that retrieval practice is definitely the way to go. And stick around to the end because I'm going to show you a couple of bits of evidence from these articles that should convince you. What learning actually means is coding something accurately into your long-term memory. It's all right that you get it and you kind of understand it in that lesson just after the teacher's taught you. You're gonna feel really confident about it whilst it's there in your working memory. But if you don't practice retrieving it, then you'll find a few lessons later that it's actually been pushed out of your short-term memory. It's like learning to drive. You don't learn to drive by reading a book. Get behind a wheel and you practice. You practice with support at first until you've tested well enough to show you can do it yourself. So practicing retrieving information fast and accurately is just like that. You need to test yourself well enough to know you can do it at any time and under pressure. So the very act of trying to retrieve something from your memory, even if you don't get it first time, helps you code that information deeper into your long-term memory. You'll be able to retrieve it faster and more accurately next time. And that's why so many teachers recommend retrieval practice. It really does help. It's far better than passively rereading your own notes or just rereading a textbook. There are loads of different ways that you can do retrieval practice, but I recommend you finding something that fits into your day and that you can do really easily at any time. So it's not a stress and so it's a habit. Because when you quiz yourself regularly, you get to realize the bits that you don't know very well and the bits you struggle with. And then you're gonna know which you need to spend most time working on. And when you quiz yourself, you code that bit of information deeper and deeper and deeper into your long-term memory. And you'll also develop strategies to help you retrieve that fact quicker and more accurately the next time. In this video here, I talk about how examiners can make exam questions really hard just by asking you to have to have more information in your working memory to enable you to solve the problem. When you do retrieval practice, you're also checking that you're retrieving that information accurately. And we know that just one word missing or one word wrong can mean the difference between a mark or not a mark, or between getting the grade or not getting the grade. And you know, Gorilla Physics, we're all about helping you get the grade nine. So thanks again to Tassimai for sponsoring this video. One of Tassimai's mantras is practice makes permanent. But what's more is that Tassimai gets to know what you do and don't remember. I use Tassimai in my school to make sure the students are focused on memorizing the key content for their exams. And we trust it because it's based on the evidence of what works best. By doing just 10 minutes of Tassimai, four days a week, you'll make sure you're learning the content in the fastest, most effective way possible. Find the link in the description or the pinned comment below to find out more. So what these two articles say, and I really recommend that you find them and you read them for yourself in detail, what they say is that most people prefer the act of rereading or even just highlighting their work and that they expect that is going to be really useful revision time. But both of these articles present evidence which shows that actually people who did rereading, highlighting or just making concept maps do a lot worse than those people who did retrieval practice. Definitely go ahead and read these. I really like this second one because this is properly expectation versus reality. How people thought they were gonna do versus how they actually did is like the exact opposite. So although most people prefer to do rereading and just reading over the notes, making notes, highlighting, all those kind of relaxed revision activities, they are not time effective. They aren't an efficient way to study. So make sure you check this evidence and that you do as the evidence tells you to do because that's the scientific way to learn. And perhaps you'd like a bit more of a review of the evidence that there is in another video, then let me know if that's something that appeals to you. The more you practice, the more confident you'll get. And regular quizzing and regular testing is the best way to code that information into your long-term memory. It's the best way to ensure you get all the details into your long-term memory and that you can access them fast 
and accurately in the exam. Get started right now by watching this playlist all about how to revise and get the highest grades possible in your exams. Thanks a lot for watching Gorilla Physics. I'm Keir and we're all about getting you the highest grades in your GCSE or A-level physics. But we do loads of study tip videos just like this one, which are applicable to any course. So make sure you're subscribed to watch more.